What up? This is Sun Fungus here. Um, it's Nico, Matt, and Matt Wah. We got a pretty heated debate coming up right now. Pretty heated debate. You know what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about Superman and the fact that no one notices that Clark Kent is. <laughs> talk about uh, superheroes, uh, comic books, and and um, all other, you know, fictional things like that, uh, just keep in mind that he reads comic books, uh, mangas, and, and, and graphic novels. I only know comic books for movies. So out of all the comic book heroes that you've seen, who would you say is like a vigilante? The Punisher. Uh-huh. Deadpool's a vigilante. Yeah. Um, more of a mercenary, if you think about it. Uh, but Punisher definitely is a vigilante. Batman. Yeah, Batman. Don't you think technically all superheroes are vigilantes? No. Someone who seeks justice outside of a law enforcement system or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But that could also be a bounty hunter. Like, yeah, exactly. But you're missing the point that I'm trying so to make. So Boba Fett a vigilante? Boba Fett is probably a vigilante, yeah. Your definition of vigilante is is they're seeking justice, right? Yeah. But outside of outside of the law. They have to seek justice outside of the law because the law cannot Yes, exactly. That's that's what I'm saying. Therefore they are most likely vigilantes. Like you do have heroes like Nova from the Nova Corps, he's not a vigilante, he's part of a a justice system that indicates he has to seek justice through galaxies and stuff like that, you know, it's an intergalactic type of um, law enforcement system. But what I'm saying is that, like, certain groups are just doing this stuff just because they want to help people, but they're not doing it within the law enforcement system. So, therefore, technically, they are, they are all vigilantes. Most of them. Not all of them. Most of them, you know? Once Superman and Batman and Aquaman and Wonder Woman formed the Justice League, then you could technically say they were no longer vigilantes, you know what I mean? Because now they have a system in place where people will call upon them to seek justice. Batman does. I don't know who the hell shines the bat light, uh, the bat mode, the Gordon. bat signal, right. It's Commissioner Gordon. He's above, he's above the police in, in, in Gotham. Okay, but let me ask you he's, a question. He's, if Bruce Wayne came on and said, hey, I'm Batman, they're going to arrest him. It doesn't matter whether that light's shining in the light. In the Why sky. would they arrest him? Because he is a vigilante. He is seeking justice outside of the law. Yeah, but that makes no sense. And, it doesn't. I'm not saying it makes Listen, sense. Listen, it makes no sense. It makes no right. sense for a if cop. If they go arrest so Batman, like, they're like, hey, Batman, he's breaking the law, but you know what? Let's give him a call to help us out. It doesn't it make, make no damn sense. It makes no sense whatsoever, but that's how it is. But there is a system, okay? He shines the bat signal up, right? Batman sees that, John, okay? He hops in his Batmobile, all right? He drives off. He, he beats. Wow. It doesn't matter, all right? He beats He beats whoever's ass, okay? He Whoever, whoever wants it. Guess they ask me. They get locked up. That's the system right there. That's the system. Nobody was like, yo, Batman, like, let's hire this dude. Yo, like, Commissioner Gordon, technically, he should be arrested as well. Technically, in their eyes, he's just a citizen trying to help. The Powerpuff Girls, are they vigilantes? They are delinquents. That's what they are. They are? Yeah. I don't think so. Like, when they are fighting sometimes, and they are doing their crime fighting thing, they're just demolishing stuff, man. Regardless of whether they're destroying things, regardless of their demolishing things, okay, who continues to call them every time? The mayor. He's willing to wait. He's willing to, he's putting it on the scale. He's putting it on the T-scale. He's like, listen, demolishing the city, destroying the city outweighs people getting hurt and justice being served. I don't think everyone sees it like, you know, I'm working this pizza hut all day. I'm, I'm like, I own this pizza shop. This is how I make my living. This is how I feed my family. And like Mojo Jojo's 17 blocks away. Yes, he's nowhere near that pizzeria. And freaking Buttercup wants to turn her like telepathy into a fist. And she like swings that joint 17 blocks just to hit Mojo Jojo. Misses. Destroys the pizzeria. These girls, they're in the middle of hormones. They're in the process of puberty, okay? They have a lot of emotions. No, I, don't, I don't think they mixed that emotions. Yet, I think they're, they're still like six, seven years. I think they're like six, five. There's years no old. way to still be six, seven years old. Matt Bart Simpson has been a character for about two decades now. Yeah, and my man 10. is still ten. Yeah, he's ten. There's no that there's there's. I mean, the the Power Book Girls could be ageless for all we know. How is it possible that they're ageless? The creators, for some reason, just don't age them. They don't age them. 
And I think that's something that needs to be worked on because, in a lot of because stuff. it's against the reality. Yeah, of course. Right. It's, it's like right. it's not it's not so reality. In, in reality, that pizza shop owner, he don't really need a job. Like he really don't need to make a salary. To provide for his family. No, but they don't <laughs> exist. So, you know what I mean? You know, what I'm, not, I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying it as far as like, if it was real. If you saw Superman, I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm watching the movie. You know, I'm saying real life. Real life, yo. Real life. Like, we got our studio together. And like, we're, we're doing good now. And Superman's about to bust up like, you know, Doomsday. He's about to go in Darkseid's face and just like tear him up. And he's about to fly dead through our studio. Dead through our studio. We're making money. We're doing good. You know, people are coming. They're like, let's record here. Blah, 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 blah. And my man in his tight red underwear and, you know, his, like, overalls and just comes flying through. While we're in the middle of a session, are you going to sit there like, you know what? He's saving lives. This is worth it. Yeah, we're going to have to find another spot. And all our equipment's, you know, Listen, trash. But, I mean, right. he's saving lives. In a world... Where there is actually Superman, okay? There's actually these hyenas, uh, bad <laughs> villains, okay? I'm sure there'd be insurance for it. Superman insurance. He's not going to be that nice in real life. You try saying, to walk up to, to a real life Superman and be like, yo, you owe me like $10,000, bro. He don't owe nobody. Yes, nothing. he does. If he's flying through buildings, Listen, destroying stuff, he owes If you lot. get Superman insurance, okay, you are covered. By anything, any damage done by Superman. Yeah, let me because you, you are aware at any moment, some dude is trying to take over the world. You know what I mean? And Superman is going to come up and bust some things up. Let me He's going to lay some hands on some people. Dude, let me tell you something. If I was a real life Superman, if I was, I'm going to be completely honest. If I was a real life Superman, I would not spend all my time helping people. I won't. I won't. And I definitely, you know, me, of course, I would be like, all right, I just destroyed your stuff. Let me help you out. If there was real life Superman out there, super men and super women, a lot of them are going to be dicks. Obviously, just as our superheroes and the, you know, superheroes and the fictional, you know what I mean? All that. They have the powers. You know what I mean? They are doing, they are using their powers for good. But yet again, in the real world, there's things called morality. People who have these, would have God complexes. You know, it's a slippery slope. They abuse their power. Just like how cops are doing. They abuse their power. Yeah. You're like, hey, you, listen, don't do that. All right? I don't want to see you do it. I don't care if it is legal. Don't do it. I don't like it. Don't do it in my face. Say, there is a Superman. Say, there is a Batman. They go out there, right? Say, what the Steelers fans, dog? They don't like they don't like Cowboys fans. They just see <laughs> they see a cowboy walk around. You know what I mean? And the cow with the star, and he just they just beat beat the ass. He, he don't like he don't yeah. right. That's why there ain't no superheroes today. Exactly. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. You're right. Just so like you all know, this conversation stemmed because you know we do like talk about stuff like this a lot. Superheroes and like, police and not really police. We try to stick away from the cops. We have some bad experience with cops. <laughs> yeah. And I just I just think, you know, uh, more mistakes. I mean, that would be a great story. To tell. That'd be for another blog. That'd another be for blog. another thing. We'll tell you the story about what cops done to us and the experience that we had with cops and stuff like, like that. Done. That would have been like two things. It's bad. Been two times for you. Like but for me... For me, I've experienced things. I've seen things, man. I've seen things. What have you seen? I'll, that's for another story. That's what. That's what I'm saying. We're, we're on comic books. Me. We're on. We're on. Uh, we're on fictional characters in comic books right now. Okay, that's what, that's our interest. That's what we believe in. Well, not what we believe in, but that's you know that's something that entertains us. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this out. All right, I have glasses on right now. All right, so this is like this is Clark Kent. Now I'm Superman. Do you see a difference? This this is nothing. There's no way that there's that much of a difference from when I put my glasses on to when I take them off. There's no way that that many people can't tell that that's Superman and that's Clark Kent. Like this, whether they've met Clark Kent before, you know, the people that work in his building. Like, how is it that they don't know? From what I know, from what I watched cartoon, I saw a cartoon. Superman cartoons, I saw him. My man, he was an average worker. Nobody really, especially in a large company, large corporation like that, people look past you. People don't pay attention to you. My man looks like an average Caucasian male. He looks like an average white guy. Listen, 
If I lost weight, I got a cleft chin, you know what I mean? I can, I can pass for Clark Kent, you know what I mean? I got all muscular, all that, wore a suit, look fly, straight up. I straight look like Clark Kent. My man look like an average Joe. As yeah. does Superman, though. I mean, like, besides the suit, Superman looks like an average white guy. You but they like, don't yeah, see all that. They see the Matt, suit with Matt, the S on Matt, his chest. All you have to they see, see the is his face. It's his face. That, why do you, what do you, you don't have to see the suit. He looks like Clark Kent in a different suit. It doesn't matter how you try to explain this. He looks like Clark Kent in a Superman I don't, suit. Listen, he should. It's him. Their mind's so wrapped up on Superman. Like, Superman's the bomb. Superman's the bomb. What's up, Clark? Get on my face, All right, so let me ask Superman, you another question. right here. Let me ask you another question. Clark Kent looks exactly like Superman, right? Right. So they're paying attention to Superman all the time. You mean to tell me no one saw Clark Kent walk by? And, but once you see someone that looks exactly like Superman, you start to care. If you see someone walk by that looks exactly like Clark Kent, you will care about seeing that person a little bit more. And you're going to put two and two together. Like, why is Clark Kent taking such a long shit? Like, he's been gone for like six hours. Superman just saved Budapest, you know, from whatever, and then bam, Clark Kent pops up again. When Superman's in the scene, all attention's on Superman. Superman's in here. I don't give a damn about anybody else. In this room, I'm not doing attendance, I'm not taking names, I don't care who's in this room. I know I'm here, I'm witnessing what Superman about to do. Nobody cares about anyone else around Superman, just Superman. Okay, maybe the bad guy that Superman's beating up. Once again, you're not understanding. Two men that look completely, totally identical. Body type, size, voice face. Clark Kent is a reporter, so he has to speak to people. There's no way. There's no way it has gone on that long and nobody, I mean, they must what just be playing it dumb like, I don't want to mess with this dude. Like, no one's questioned Clark Kent. Didn't the chick quit, uh, I don't know the chick's name. Uh, uh Lois Lane? Uh, yeah, yeah, that chick. Of course she's going to question. She's like the love interest. Why has no one in the middle of the street walked by like, yo, man, she question, yo, for real. Are, are you super? I won't tell him. Just tell me, are you super? Or when he's at work and people talk to Clark Kent at work. They all talk to him. Why hasn't no one asked him, like, Clark, you know, be, be, be real. Are you, are you super? You know, like, no, one, no one's questioned him. No one questions Bruce Wayne because Bruce Wayne covers his face. Probably hundreds of people in Gotham that have the same, like, chin and stuff as Bruce Wayne. No one's going to question him on that. But if he's walking around without his bat deer on his face and he's, like, throwing... Bat boomerangs at people, like you know what I mean. People are gonna go, oh shit, that's Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, he's a face known to the public. Clark Kent Superman, is I'm, a face only known in the paper. I'm not talking about the whole world. I'm saying, why is no one in the company question that? No one questions it. He's the man of steel. All right, put this one. You work at Outback. Okay? Yeah. We're not. We're not being sponsored by Outback, which we did. All right. Who works next to you? It depends on the day. Like, All right. Some days Just give me somebody. Uh, somebody. Phil. 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 Well, what Early color now. is Phil's eyes, dog? Brown. You sure? I'm positive. How do you know? Because I'm there with him all the time. Does Bill have any piercings on Phil? Does Phil have any piercings on him? Not that I've seen. I haven't seen. No, none on his face? I have not seen any on no. his face. How about tattoos? Yeah, he has one right here. What's the tattoo? It starts with an O. It's like some type of weird word. All right, then. Where were you going with this? I don't know. <laughs> if you see someone that walks in your job that looks exactly like Superman, you're going to question it. Because Superman in himself is a celebrity. He's a celebrity. You're going to at least go, hey, that looks like Superman. You're at least going to say that. No one says that. I mean, he has to shake people's hands at work and stuff and like, oh, you know, I'm Clark Kent. I'm writing this story, blah, blah, blah. And no one goes, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you look, you look kind of like Superman. They, they don't have to exactly say he's Superman, but no one says, you know, you look like Superman. You look exactly like Superman. You look... Take off your glasses and slick your hair back. You look like the spitting image of the Man of Steel. So we're going to cut this conversation. Uh, we will get back to that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, just viewing us. Uh, please give us a like, subscribe, share. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. And uh, y'all have a nice day.